<laughs> How are you? I'm very well. It's really nice to see your smiling face. How are you doing? What a paltry phrase, how are you, is when Laura Mallow's answer is bound to be so complicated. One year later. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's no easy, this uh, situation, this year. Uh, very, very difficult. Um, I'm trying to, to be better every day. To get the weight of that, get a load of this. Laura's a DJ, a musician. So no surprise that last October, she was excited to go to the Nova Music Festival in the Negev Desert, was loving it. We drinking, we happy. We start to hear the bombs, the missiles, pa, 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 pa. October 7th, hell was raining down. It was a massacre. Death and Hamas stalked Laura too. But she ran. She and a dear friend named Itamar, closer now, of course, bolted, incredibly chronicling it all. A lot of shoots and people run to us and tell us like, go from here, people in the bikes shooting everybody. We go to into the car and we escape. I see the, the soldier take the gun and start to shoot in us. After that, we start to just drive. Where were you hiding? In a green house next to the kibbutz. Scared souls running, hiding for 15 hours, eventually saved and forever changed. I just put a story in the Instagram when I'm crying. Say like, people, we are in life. Uh, thank you for everything. In a conversation shortly after, she was still shocked and not yet sleeping. What I lived is so, so heavy. I'm alive. I can't believe it. In the days that followed, entirely coincidentally, a CBC team was in the desert where all the burned out cars from the music festival had been taken. I was so scared. And happened to meet a young man with a story to tell of escaping with a friend, but not before another friend was killed right in front of him. He's done with his, uh, with his mom in the phone. Hey, mom, I love you. I love you. Hey, mom. It's done. And who should it be telling this terrible story? But Itamar, Laura Mallow's Itamar, the friend hiding in the greenhouse with her. Hard to imagine either of them just picking up and carrying on after that. We reached out to Itamar. He's holding up, but it's been a rough year. He's my friend for all my life. A real friend. Uh, sometimes he's better than me. <laughs> there is psychological help for both of them, but rarely peace or an escape. Are you sometimes still afraid? For sure. For sure, yesterday. Wow, was uh, scared. She's talking about the Iranian missile barrage that happened the night before we had our interview. It was back to feeling heart-pounding horror. Do you sometimes think, I can't stay in this country? It's too scary? Sometimes. But on another side, all the world hates us, so uh, you don't have a safe place now. So I'm here with my people, with my family, with my friends. And her music, still her music. She's DJing, writing original songs like this one, and it helps. Is there something you want Canadians watching this to understand? Uh, I hope to say this not just for the Canadians, for all the world. Hate? For what? Every The people that live here don't want this. To be scared, to, to, to cry. We don't want this. So... No forget what you have, 
uh, and say every day thank you about your life. This is a good I message. Like I really appreciate you taking time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you.